I'm JD the Media Jack, and this is episode 14 of the Media Jack podcast. On this episode, we're catching up with my partner, my girlfriend, my coach, Alicia Simpson, the Iron Bikini. We're going to talk about what has happened so far in our progress into the bodybuilding world. For me, my first time for her, she's been at this for years, and the progress that we've both been making. As well, we're gonna get into some weird and interesting flavors of hot chocolate. And if you're into that sort of content, then I'd suggest if you're listening on your favorite audio podcast site, switch over to video, either on Spotify or on YouTube. The content is gonna make a lot more sense as we're gonna be trying out different flavors of things. Again, if you'd like to support me, like many have and many still do, you can do that directly by going to themediajack.ca. There, you'll see the Patreon page where you can donate directly and at the highest tier, become the executive producer for an episode, just like Red Wolf Don, who is the executive producer yet again. Also, there's the merch page there where you have merchandise for The Media Jack, as well as the Iron Bikini, and a new line of gym shirts and they're i think they're kind of cute you can get a iron bikini gym shirt or you can get the media jack gym shirt it's completely up to you everything is available of course at the mediajack.ca where not only can you buy and support everything that i do here but also there's links to everything else including the youtube page as well as where you can listen on your favorite audio podcast site of choice. Now, let's get into the episode 14 with the Iron Bikini, Alicia Simpson. Well, we can first of all start by just getting an idea of what's happened since the last video, which was, when did we film that? I don't know. Was it before Christmas? No, it was after. It was after Christmas, okay. Yeah. So, um... Bodybuilding wise, I mean, both you and I are into a uh, a cut right now. Yes. With no clear date as to when we will compete. <laughs> um, this is actually my first cut, and you're the one handling my dietary uh, plan as well as my workout plan. And um, this is one of many for you and for anyone who is unfamiliar with a cut um what it refers to as it's a reduction in caloric intake controlled Mm -hmm. not just like i'm going to stop eating one entire meal Mm -hmm. but also like a a harder push at um at the gym type thing yeah and usually more cardio and usually more cardio yes so how is this current cut working out for you and how you feeling good yeah i mean i've been in an off season for over a year so it's a welcome change and challenge yeah um calories it was like a 45 gram carb drop which i thought was a lot at first but allison kind of explained it to me like um it's maybe less food but it's still like i'm still above 200 grams of carbs but um it's less so i was eating a lot of food before so i'm eating a bit less now Mm -hmm. so there's less energy going towards digestion and i just have more overall energy so it's been kind of nice cool i'm actually feeling more energetic going into a slight deficit so any surprises this time around um i had a very decent weight drop the first week (laughs) (laughs) which is encouraging that's what this whole thing is about yeah like that means it's it's working right Right. away yeah well cool and i had a cardio increase too so yeah that's definitely part of it yeah when it comes to um myself um i think it was like the first i've been at it for like what a week and a half which isn't a whole hell of a lot of time but um not only was it a a cut a cardio like a caloric intake Decrease, but also you changed my plan at the exact same time. Yeah. <laughs> so double the motivation. Exactly. <laughs> um, and 
I uh, I brought it up during a staff meeting at the radio station, and uh, they're like, well, what does it mean? So I explained everything, and I said, and I'm not allowed to be hangry if I get um, hungry or, or anything like that, then I just tell Alicia, I tell my girlfriend, my coach, and uh, we adjust accordingly. And so it was actually in the meeting notes, uh, JD doing a quote unquote bodybuilder cut, not allowed to be hangry. <laughs> Why not allowed? Because I, I said I'm not allowed to be hangry. Okay, yeah. Um, so <laughs> everyone at the radio station is kind of um, supporting me in a way. They're they're Following more curious. And, yeah, yeah. You had to jump down the throat of one of the on-air personalities because uh, uh, he referred to my activity at the gym, but he got it wrong. Yeah. What happened? He said you're powerlifting. I'm uh, powerlifting. <laughs> It's a completely different thing. Yeah, and all due respect to powerlifters. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, it's it's like referring to uh, cricket as baseball. It's just two different sports. Yeah. Right, flat out. Um, they both involve weights, sure. But yeah, exactly. Yeah. But one, yeah, but one is for brute force power, and the other is for uh, looks, physique, and definition. Right. Not saying that it can't include like strength increases. Oh no, and yeah, stuff, but absolutely. Yeah. You know, there are Basically. some powerlifters out there who look fantastic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there are some bodybuilders out there that push an incredible amount of weight. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. sebum. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So um, there, there, there is some crossover, but at the same time, it's two different sports. Mm-hmm. But still, you, 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 you texted me and said, they just called you a powerlifter or something like that. Mm-hmm. You texted me. And yeah. um, I, I encouraged you, like, well, correct them. So I did. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, um, it's kind of neat though. Everyone at the radio station is is taking notice uh, mm-hmm. of um, how well and how much time I've been putting in at the gym. So that's nice. Mm-hmm. So that's good. Yeah. yeah. It's all thanks to you. I mean, yeah, I'm putting in the work, but if it wasn't for your plan and making it so much fun, mm-hmm. I, I wouldn't be putting in all the work. Quite frankly. Mm-hmm. I'd be making so many mistakes. Mm. Yeah. So, saying that, um, I'm pulling muscles on a weekly basis. <laughs> like, I'm hurt. Oh, no, don't do that. Yeah. Uh, last week, uh, it was my left forearm, my right shoulder, my lower back, and inside of both legs. Mm. And this week, um, after leg day today, Definitely re hurt both of my legs. <laughs> oh, going too heavy. Well, am I though? Because, like, you've my, my thought is that um, I'm able to do the sets without, like, with a, a bit of struggle, right? Like, mm-hmm. I, I put forth the energy, but at the same time, I'm doing uh, specific things at the gym that I haven't done ever or in a long time. Mm-hmm. So my thought is, is like maybe I'm just waking up muscles that just haven't gotten attention in a long time. All the more reason to start very, very light. I true, but I'm also <laughs> I'm prideful. Trying to impress the girlfriend slash coach. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, I'm impressing people at the gym already with you know what I'm am capable of doing. So you're you already outlift. A lot of the younger dudes there. This is true. <laughs> so and I don't know how that happened. <laughs> I, I seriously don't know how that happened. More like, more years experience, probably. Probably, and also I have fantastic legs. Yeah. Oh yeah, like different jobs and stuff that you've had. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you've been building for years. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, th- I think. Yeah, like, I swear I'm the only person ever who has ever been complimented on his calves. Like, <laughs> like it's yeah. so. I still remember that one day at Gold's Gym when it happened. I'm like, thank you? <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, I, uh, I I get asked about that. And it, the only two things I could think of is, one, for whatever reason, when I was a child, I thought I wanted to be an Olympic sprinter. And so uh, I don't know how I got that in my head, but... I do, I, re, I recall like 
spending time at the park and at the park there was a, a paved walkway and uh, my brother had like the little red wagon and I would push him push him up the hill and he'd roll down and I'd get back down to the bottom and I'd push him back up the hill and he'd roll down and I remember doing that deliberately thinking to myself I'm training mm. and I remember my father saying to my brother like why don't you why don't you let your brother get in and I correcting my father saying like no no it's fine <laughs> I'm training. I'm training. <laughs> I must have been like six. Like, <laughs> like oh, wow. Anyway, yeah. um, there was that, and then uh, later in my life, I gained a lot of weight, like a lot of weight. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm thinking. Well, yeah, there was also like a lot of marching when I was in the army. Um, right. But like, that's the only things that I can really say attribute to my legs my calves you know mm-hmm. carrying around more weight possibly yeah, yeah. Maybe. exactly yeah so it, it is weird though because ever since anyone else has brought attention to my calves i i look at other other people at the gym and <clears throat> i see their lack of calves <laughs> <laughs> like a common thing in bodybuilding too like, it is it where is. are your calves dude <laughs> yeah can i tell you a quick story about what happened today yeah yeah so i was at the gym it was leg day oh. and um i was in uh what's called the power room at the gym and whatever like i i do my own thing i leave everyone else alone like you know if i see someone legitimately struggling like maybe i might like go over there and help like there's a lot of equipment in a gym and maybe someone's not familiar with it. So I'll go over and like, do you need a hand? Just pull this and adjust here and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Anyway, so <clears throat> I'm on leg press and in the same gym is a, um, a bench press machine, incline bench press machine. Mm-hmm. And it, it requires like, you can't just like pull a pin and adjust weights. You have to actually put physical weights Onto it. I'm bumping the microphone. Mm-hmm. Um, so anyway, I see this kid. I call him a kid because he's young. And um, he's got a racer back uh, shirt on. And the only reason I'm bringing this up is because um, he was clanging and banging. And for anyone unfamiliar with that term is um, no regard for setting weights down. Right. Mm-hmm. Just like let them go, bang, right, whatever. Mm-hmm. So he's doing a set, bang, and the whole machine shakes. I'm like, hard, to, hard not to take notice, even though yeah. I have like earbuds in. I'm listening to music. Yeah. So he does another set, bang. He gets up, he gets off, big smile on his face. He goes to the mirror and just starts flexing and looking in the mirror and the whole deal. And I'm, whatever, fine, <laughs> okay. I, I will note that there is um, there is no women in the room at this point in time. It, he's just doing his own thing. Yeah, uh, Still showing me. off for guys, though. <laughs> yeah, well, whatever. Um, me and... It was like me, him, and like four other people in there. Right? All guys. Anyway. Um, goes to do another set. Bang! The whole machine shakes. Right? Whatever. Hmm. He gets off and... Flexes, flexes some more. Then he grabs a, a full sleeve sweater, puts it on, and walks out. Doesn't wipe down the machine, which is kind of like there's signs everywhere, like please wipe down the machine before and after each use. Mm. Doesn't wipe down the machine. I'm like, douchebag. <laughs> Whatever. So, anyway, I'm still doing my sets and uh, personal best, by the way. Oh, good. 540 pounds on leg press. Oh, good. Personal best. I cool. probably could have done more. <laughs> um, anyway. Good job. Thank you. Uh, before I get to that, though, same guy comes in from a different door, same room, and he goes to the machine that he was just at. Now, he didn't wipe down the equipment. He didn't move any of the plates off of the machine itself. Um, and I think he went to go grab a 25, but... When he was moving weights around, which he was doing between his sets, mm-hmm. um, he he had like it was like a ten, and then a thirty-five, and then a twenty-five, and then at the very end, the first one you would grab was like a forty-five. So completely out of order. Mm. Whatever. Again, it is what it is. But 
he goes to grab the 25. And I'm watching him doing this because I got nothing else to do. He takes the 45, puts it on the ground. He takes the 10, he puts it on the ground. He takes the 25, pulls it off, and starts to walk away. <laughs> and then, now, <laughs> I'm, I'm not one to pick a fight. Mm-hmm. But I'm also not one to put up with bullshit. Mm-hmm. So... I pull out one of my earbuds and in my loud demanding voice go, hey, and he stops and he turns around. And he looks at me. He's got Beats by Dre headphones like the whole deal on. Mm-hmm. And I look at him and I point at the weights and go, pick him up. He goes, he pulls it back. He goes, huh? I said, pick them up. He looks at me and goes, Okay. <laughs> Oh my god! But he keeps looking at me as he walks back. But of course, he's got to break stare to pick uh-huh. up the weights. Yeah. So he picks up the weights. He puts them away, and then he looks back at me again, and I'm still staring a hole through his <laughs> face. Right. Yeah. And he walks away, and I just like ah, douchebag. And then I realize there, there are four other people <laughs> in that room, yeah. and they're all saw what just happened and this is one guy at the very far end and he looks at me and he does <laughs> just a nice. little golf clap yeah I'm like thanks yeah anyway like that's idiotic people could trip oh yeah over that stuff like, it's a 45 pound weight the yeah. biggest ones that they have yeah right it's also gray the the floor mats on the ground is gray mm. like some someone who's like either uh, a veteran to the gym or brand new or whatever. It's a Saturday. It's hot out. It's you're you're getting a workout on. You're not focused. Mm-hmm. Boom! Over you go over, and suddenly you're like injured. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, so that happened. Huh? Good on you for calling him out. <laughs> I just oh, I just couldn't. There's, there's only so much I can put up with, but that yeah. was just bullshit. That like, who's bullshit. he trying to impress doing that? Not me. More so impress people by nicely putting the weights away exactly. and cleaning up your sweaty shit. <laughs> 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 wipe down your damn machine. Like, uh, <laughs> that's that's another thing to do, so wipe down your machine. Yeah. It's not it's not that difficult. No. You know, like, when you and I work out together, like, I'm adamant. Like, I'll wipe down dumbbells, barbells, everything. Like, even yeah. the ones that you're reaching for, like, hold on, I'll grab it. Yeah. Right. So. Yeah, exactly. I did, yeah. Etiquette. Gym etiquette. Yep. You know, think I wipe down everything mm-hmm. before I touch it because of people like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So anyway, so that was my day. <laughs> um, do you have any sort of timeline or idea as to when you want to go back into competition? Well, I was thinking about doing the BC Cup next May. Okay. Because it's a natural show. It'll be my first ever natural show. Not that I'm not natural as it is, just I've never actually done a natural specific show before. I've only done the tested stream. Right. So I think that'd be really interesting to try for getting back into my, into competing again. Your competition routine. Yeah. Yeah. Go the natural stream. So with, with how things are going, with how you're training me, do you think I could join you? on stage i think so that's another year from now so yeah yeah Mm -hmm. i will i will say that like so i haven't i don't post progress photos like you do Mm -hmm. follow alicia simpson 13 on instagram (laughs) um but uh i i have noticed like it was it was i told you yesterday i was at the i was at work and i was wearing a shirt just a random shirt and i felt something like grabbing or whatever in the back and so i went to the bathroom and i took off my shirt just to look and I don't know, like something was in my shirt, whatever. Mm-hmm. But as I put, went to go put my shirt back on, I noticed that my, um, what are these? Obliques. Obliques. And my abs are like showing through. And that's not some. that's something I haven't seen since I was a teenager. Yeah. Right. And I, I attribute that to all the hard work, your routine, as well as the cut going on right now, which starting the cut, I'm what? down 
almost three pounds. Four pounds. Your, four pounds. Your first one, well, in April, you were 234. So Yeah, and when I weighed myself this morning, I was 230.4. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, four pounds, which, cool. That's a good start, yeah. <laughs> it's a very good start. Yeah. Um, I, I will say that I'm not hangry, but I have been dealing with a headache. Yeah. Um, now, I don't know if that's from the air quality mm. or the smoke or the caloric deficit, mm-hmm. but I'm feeling okay today, but today is a little bit off anyway. Yeah. Right? Because Saturdays is treat meal day. Right. And also, I changed position of a of a, to my meals because I went to the gym later. Mm. So, I'm feeling okay today. Hmm. Okay. So... We just got to keep monitoring that. Exactly. So, do you want to get into the second part of why we're here? Sure. Right. Last time we sat down together, we did like a Pringles taste test weird thing. And uh, for the record, we ate all the Pringles. Not all at once. <laughs> no, it was over a long Slowly period of time. Slowly over time. Exactly. A few yeah, here yeah. and there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this time Don't around. Don't waste food. <laughs> yeah. This time around, what are we going to do? Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. And why? Um, I think we got the idea because I got a unique flavor for Christmas, I think it was. Yeah. Which I won't reveal it right now, but we'll reveal it later. <laughs> so we, we, we have how many flavors? One, two, three, four, four five. Five, six. No, what? five. One, two, three, four. Five or six? Five. <laughs> I mean, we could do that other one, I guess. Which other one? After eight. Oh, you're not counting after eight. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. All right, counting. okay, not counting after eight. We're doing five. <laughs> and uh, some cookies. We'll get into that at the very end. It's too bad we couldn't find more though. But yeah, these, yeah, these yeah, look I, interesting. This is limited sale, limited, yeah. uh, limited run. Anyway, so uh, we'll take a quick break. <laughs> For you, it will be instantaneous, but we're gonna we're gonna set up, so we'll, we'll be right back <laughs> after these messages. <laughs> <laughs> okay, gonna take a quick break here, and I want you to follow me. I'm actually gonna go to themediajack.ca, so you can see for yourself. There's my website, themediajack.ca, where you get an option as to where you would like to listen or view the podcast on your favorite site of choice, the two video options being Spotify and YouTube. And if you go over to the merch store, you will see that there is merchandise that you can purchase to support myself as well as the Iron Bikini. You have the Media Jack as well as the Iron Bikini. You have some cups and mugs. Venting is normal line and a brand new line that's actually gonna be going up by the time this video comes out of official gym shirts for the iron bikini and the media jack and if you notice right here contest i am actually giving away a playstation 5 on my youtube channel again go to my youtube channel if you haven't subscribed already check it out the instructions and the details are all right there but the bottom line is if my youtube channel reaches 800 subscribers by august 31st 2023 i will give away a brand new playstation 5 during a live stream so there you have it the mediajack.ca where you can listen watch buy merchandise and unless you're listening to this or watching this in the distant future you can enter to win a playstation 5. now let's get back to uh trying out some hot chocolate with the iron bikini alicia simpson I can see it in my head. Future me just actually just talked about the fact that we have a bunch of merch on the website, including new gym shirts <laughs> right. uh, that you can buy, uh, both with the Iron Bikini uh, logo as well as the Media Jack logo. So um, I can't wait to actually get my hands on a few of those. That'd be fun. Mm. So hot chocolates and a lot of them. And I'm going to take a photo or a video of uh, what the table looks like right now and it's just full of different hot chocolates 
And it was all inspired by the pink hot chocolate in the Deadpool. No, no, no. The um, the Swiss Miss. Oh, Swiss Miss. This one here. Yeah. Gotcha. So, <laughs> I haven't had hot, like legitimate hot chocolate in too long. Mm-hmm. So this will be interesting. Where do you want to start? Hmm. Start with one of the more regular ones, I guess. I get well the Swiss Miss then. No, 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 that should be last. That should be last? That's the special one. Okay, well, we have uh, cookies and cream, and we have turtles, we have s'mores, and we have that pink thing that you got. Probably to start with turtles, because it's, like, kind of common, so. Turtles. All yeah. right, so this is um, this is from Nestle. Not a sponsor, by the way. Dear Lord, they don't sponsor us. <laughs> there you go. I'd smell it and swirl it. <laughs> First. Take in the aroma. <laughs> Ex- make it an experience. I don't know. That just tastes like hot chocolate. It tastes like hot chocolate. I, I wasn't even getting like hints of caramel, you know? Like. Well, maybe a tiny bit. I can smell a tiny bit of caramel in, in the powder. Yeah, oh, you smell it more than you taste it, actually. Yeah. I kind of get a little bit of a caramel nutty aftertaste yeah not bad it's you, good do you want to take a whiff scoop it dry as they say <laughs> dry scoop the hot dry chocolate. scoop it yeah like there's a small yeah. hint of it it smells more like caramel than it tastes yeah so a little disappointing i'm a big fan of caramel yeah me too yeah okay uh S- yeah s'mores s'mores go for it it's in the black mug there. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> yes. I... Ooh, it smells marshmallowy. You can kind of get a hint of the marshmallow. There is, uh, there was tiny mm. marshmallows in it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see that. Yeah. Hmm. I would have thought it'd be sweeter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We are having it with water. Yeah, probably milk would bring out the flavor. Yeah. We're only doing half a packet, too. Yeah, and that's very much eyeballing it, too. So, <laughs> I, mm, I like it better than turtles, that's for sure. Yeah? Yeah. Hmm. I, I wouldn't be against any of these if we were out camping again. Oh, huh? yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Just for, like, unique flavor-wise. Yeah. Or actually getting the... You know, the different flavors in there, like the turtles and then the s'mores. Yeah, it's it's not uh, it's not amazing. <laughs> no, it's not. No. Uh, cookies and cream is in the James Dean mug. Okay. You Was wanna... that on purpose? Yes. All of them are on purpose. <laughs> Do you notice that the turtles, like the turtles package is in the striped mug? <laughs> okay, why is this? Why is James Dean cookies and cream? Oh, hey, it rhymes. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> I figured it out. <laughs> Well, also because like the color scheme of the of the packet. Oh, okay, the I itself, see. You were going so. by colors. Okay, sure. That sure. it rhymed, so I like that. <laughs> Ooh, I like this. Oh yeah, you're gonna like that one better. Yeah, yeah I think so. Is it sweeter? A bit. It's a definitely a bit sweeter. Mmm, smells like cookies and cream. Yeah. That's better. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And That's yeah, cookies like, there's and cream. still a half half left. Mm-hmm. So it's not like I dumped a whole bunch into it. But if that's what you did for all of them and this is the sweetest one, then that says something. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's good. But that's in the same box as... The cookies and cream was separate box. Oh, that's right. But same brand. Same brand. Carnation. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So that just leaves the Swiss Miss and that pink thing that you got. <laughs> it turned, it was white and it turned pink, pink. right? Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't over oh, that spectacular. So it's just. Does it say color changing? It does. Um, the other piece is in the garbage. <laughs> no. I think it said pink to white hot chocolate or something. <laughs> well, there's a unicorn on the package. Which so. is not that much of a stretch honestly Ooh, it smells color good. changing blend it 
Smells like sunscreen. Hmm. <laughs> Seriously, it smells like sunscreen. Like it smells like a beach. Um, taste it. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, encouraging. Ah. Yeah, not the best. It's like stale water. This smells like cotton candy. What are you talking about? No, it smells like <laughs> sunscreen to me. Weird. I think you're just looking at that. That's No. <laughs> it smells better than it tastes, just like the turtles one. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. That's, no, I, I smell sunscreen. Like Weird. Seriously, I smell sunscreen. Yeah. Let me see. All right. I can't really smell much of anything. Hmm. Now, why is this the last one, and why did this spark this conversation? Swiss Miss. That's the Lucky Charms one. Oh, oh that's right. Oh, you should grab the box and, like, show it. Oh, no, no, no. We took a photo. Oh, so it's going to be, like, on the screen? Yeah, when... exactly. Okay, okay. Right okay. there. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah, this one is the most unique, and I saw it on Amazon. I put it on my Christmas wish list. And my mom goes in there and she buys select things from the list. And she got me this last year. So we were like, hey, we should do a podcast. It's Lucky Charms. Does it taste like Lucky Charms? Are you are you feeling like you're eight years old right now? <laughs> <laughs> are you feeling like you're eight years old right now? <coughs> it smells good. Yeah. This smells like real hot chocolate. It actually. does, yeah. You want the packet? Wait. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking too. Is like Ain't no lucky charms in I there. I was disappointed. I, I'm gonna grab the box. Like, yeah. I know I got the photo of it, but I'm gonna grab the box. Yeah. <clears throat> nope. This smells like regular hot chocolate. Lucky Charms marshmallows, magically delicious hot chocolate mix made with premium imported cocoa. Charms, no secret. Blah blah blah. They swim in your mug. What? Like like looking through the cereal box for the treat or the nah. toy, you know? Yeah. There's, <laughs> there's no there's no marshmallows. There's none in here either. <laughs> well then. I mean it's good hot chocolate, but it's not lucky charms flavored. Mm. <clears throat> Okay, so of the five. Uh, the cookies and cream was yeah, the best. Yeah, I was thinking the same. Mm -hmm. I'll clean that up later. Yes. <laughs> well. <laughs> it's a good thing I dumped these out. <laughs> yeah. Because I went to go clean them up. And um, lo and behold, there's two packs for a reason. Why is that? One says Swiss Miss, the hot chocolate. Yeah. The other one says Lucky Charms. Marshmallows. So that <laughs> makes a massive difference. There we go. Has Hold on. How's that look? Oh, yeah. Look at that. That is mm. flat out Lucky Charms marshmallows <laughs> right there. There we go. I'm way less disappointed now. You think so? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Like they're actual Lucky Charms marshmallows. A hundred percent. The um, hot chocolate itself is still a little mediocre. Yeah. But enter the Lucky Charms. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay. Read the instructions, kids. Yeah, <laughs> always. <laughs> that is that is first and foremost. Read the instructions. <laughs> so 
over my shoulder, you brought something else. <clears throat> this is surely not to disappoint. <laughs> surely never disappoints. <laughs> Party <laughs> cookies, cotton candy, limited edition. You've probably seen them at Superstore if you shop there. Yeah. Focus. Right. Over me. There you go. Oh, I didn't get a picture of that one. <laughs> so, um, these look like Oreos? Kind of. Yeah. Vanilla flavored cookies with cotton candy flavored cream. Don't They're you? Oreos if Oreos were a fairy dancing through <laughs> <Yeah>. the meadow. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare disappoint us. Yeah. Well, they're... Oh. <laughs> they're purple. Legit. <laughs> like, seriously, they're... They're purple. Interesting. I don't have a knife. Nails. Oh, okay. Right, I don't have a knife. I have a girlfriend. <laughs> oh. Oh, really? Just a big <laughs> whiff of cotton candy. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. 100%. <laughs> this is going to make everything worthwhile. Oh, look at that filling. That's decent. All right. Mmm. Once you break through the um, yeah, the, the cookie, mm -hmm. absolutely cotton candy, one hundred percent. Why does it make me think of Grand Theft Auto Four? I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How did that thought transpire? I don't know. <laughs> All right. I'll wash it down with some unicorn. People are going to be upset if we don't try this at least. So. Oh. oh, yeah. Me. Oh, yeah. There we go. Show the camera. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Smell that. Like, 100%. Mm hmm. Go for it. <laughs> Just the billing. Oh, you're just scraping the filling, are you? Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> if Alicia's, Alicia's mm. coach is watching, this is all within plan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm counting. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Can you break it? I already spun one and a half. How do you eat your Oreos? <laughs> your knockoff Oreos. Oh no! <laughs> they're not. Oh! No. Nope. They're not as easy to do as the. I'll try. Oreos. I'll, try <laughs> I'll try. I'll try. I'll try again. I'll try again. Well, that one's off kilter. That's that's cheating. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Here we go. Focus here. Thank you. All right. Here we go. Hi. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got one. <laughs> anyway, what were the other flavors that you saw? Um, bubble gum and blue raspberry. Ooh. Yeah. So pink filling and blue filling, I think. Mm hmm. Those are good. I like them. Mm hmm. I don't recognize the company. The clerk, yeah, I've never, never heard of them. <clears throat> they were, yeah, limited edition. It says limited edition. The clerk, I wonder if they do anything else. Comment what? below <laughs> if you've heard of them. <laughs> Ooh, they're from Quebec. Oh. <clears throat> Proudly Canadian company since 1905. Wow. There you go. Speaking of commenting below, um, if there's any other food product or flavors or anything Maybe. like that you'd like to have us try or experience. 
look at that. Look at the striation. Look at that. <laughs> that is awesome. Brought to you by <laughs> Party Cookies. <laughs> Cotton candy. Cotton candy. Um, <laughs> if there's anything that you would like us to sample, try, taste test, I mean. Give us open. ideas. Yeah, exactly. We're open to ideas. Absolutely. Anyway, I think that'll wrap it up. Yep. I'm sufficiently high on sugar. Uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. So that's Alicia Simpson. Uh, you follow her on so- social media, Alicia Simpson13 on Instagram, as well as the Iron Bikini. I'm JD, the Media Jack. Uh, you can follow me all over social media as the Media Jack. As well, you can find our merch, themediajack.ca. We have the Iron Bikini, as well as the Media Jack merch, and the uh, gym shirt, which uh, you should check out for yourself, which I think is kind of fun. It looks Simple. pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that'll do it for us. Thanks for joining us. Um, Thank you. I think we're going to go run straight up a hill with all this sugar in our system. we got to finish off the rest, too. Oh, good Lord. Don't waste food. Don't waste food. <laughs> or we- drink. <laughs> yeah. Don't waste food or drink. <laughs>